welcome, Flip Clock fans. I've got a couple of Kofel 225 mechanisms sitting here. Someone has um, wrote into Flip Clock fans with a problem, and that problem is that the clock's not flipping properly. So what's supposed to happen is that... Okay, so it's supposed to drop at zero, zero, obviously. Now what happens, there's two hour digits. There's, there's the one. Now what's supposed to happen here? See the spring here? There's going to be a thickening right here of the wheel. It's going to push that spring over in preparation to catch that nine. So the nine wants to drop a little early. The spring will drop back. The thickening will disappear at zero, zero, making that spring come back. Well, actually... I should say it this way. So the it's already moved out of the way. So the, what's holding holding the spring over now is a is a uh, increase in size here. So a projection from the fifty nine. So it's no longer held held over by the thickening. Now that once that projection from the fifty nine moves past, there we go to the hour. So for your clock to be working correctly, that spring needs to be working right. So you want to look at that first. This is the spring normally about 40 no about 37 it's pushed over for no reason it's not doing anything yet okay the, it's caught it's caught the next digit the 11's behind there right right there it's replaced by the 59 which holds the spring over once that clears we're good now so it might be a spring problem with you or it may be a problem like this that i've artificially created so this is another mechanism, and it's missing the motor. You're going to have to take the motor off if you want to. F if this is your problem, anyway. So what's happening here? So it switched over to eleven at th at thirty seven. And at, at the hour, it's not working right. You see, it's not flipping the way it's supposed to. I think this tine has been pushed. Yeah, that's better. Now, the clicking was because I was holding this like the motor would. See, without the motor, with the motor, you'll get the uh, slip clutch, ratcheting slip clutch there, making that clicking noise. Without the motor there, it moves freely. So I'll just do it that way. So things are just out of way out of whack here. Now, to get them back into whack, what do we have to do? Well, this is the minute wheel. So this moves the minutes. It also moves this gear, which in turn moves this gear in the back, which is connected to the hours. So the hours are moved indirectly by the movement of the minute wheel which is controlled by the motor it moves this wheel this wheel and it which it moves the hours well if you got to get the minutes and the hours back in sync you have to disconnect the minute wheel from the hour tr gear train and in this clock remember every every clock's going to be a little different in this particular clock you have to disassemble get the motor off and you have to remove this e clip almost called it a flea clip I hate these things because they jump around and I lose them all the time. So now there is a washer there. So if you're pushing here and you're not making any progress, that's because you're pushing the washer too. But what there, you could just get something sharp sometimes and grab in there. Oh, it's going to work this time. Sometimes you have to push it back with like a flat end screwdriver. But in this case, it's going to work. So now it wants to jump once it gets off there. Okay, so there's the E clip off there. Keep your eye on that for me. Now here is also a washer. So if you don't, you got to get this washer off. It wants to get down in the groove that the that the e-clip was in. So that washer has to has to come off, or I can't proceed. Okay. Now I need that washer too. All right. So now there's a this plastic piece is. It's crucial. It's it's not just a washer. It's got a. Let's see if I can show this and, and not get everything out of whack. 
Okay, so it's got a uh, indention there that mates into the wheel of here. So that way the turning of the rod, because there's a flat spot here on the rod and a flat spot that matches it in this grommet thing, this plastic piece, so that makes the plastic turn with the rod and the rod will make the wheel turn because it just slid in there. So that needs to be there like that. Now, I try to not move that because I don't want to have to keep pushing that in and out and it's going to try to move out. So if I push this rod, you'll see here this gear, which is the minute wheel, separates from the hours. So now I can move the hours independent of the minutes or I can move the minutes without moving the hours. Well, it's, it's, oh, it slid in. There you go. And then we've lost, see that, see that, uh, there. Now it'll work. Okay, so now the minutes are going to move without the hours. So, w so what do you got to do? Now this, this takes, uh, maybe take a couple times here. So there's zero, zero. So that should be at an hour right there. Okay, so it can be at any hour, it doesn't matter. So it's just flipped over. And maybe a little bit more, so let's just hold it there. So there. So now, we'll re-engage the gear. So now, everything's good. Now it should, hopefully, now it should drop that 10, there you go, and it should be 11. Oh, I got it off one. <laughs> So, 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 so there's 12. Okay, so let's try it again. So, so the minutes should be where? They should be at zero, zero right now. So let's get them to zero, zero. Just like we've, okay, now, now we'll move that over. Now, let's see if it's working. There. Okay, so you see, you see what I had to do? Now, there we go. Okay, so now, now the trick is to get that stupid E-clip back on there. I hesitate to show this because it's embarrassing. Uh, me and Eclipse do not do not get along. And there, I, I need to get like a, a, a magnetic mat or something like that because I'm going to, it's, oh, I've psyched myself out here. Because if you squeeze them too tight, they're going to go flying. And I've had my family more than once have to help me find those things. So that's got to go back in the groove. So ideally, I can get a little, I'll, hit it here and then grab it there and then push it's like I want to fail I can't believe I did on the first time all right is it still good okay so I don't know if that's your problem but that's how you fix it it's a little bit challenging but it's worth a try let us know Thanks for taking the time.